Hey, how's it going? Um, James here. I wanted to talk to you guys about the Illustrator text tool and styling a text box. Um, so let's get into that. So over here, um, if you were to, you know, you drag out your text box and you paste in or copy or type, type out your text. Um, so if you wanted to give this a color background, normally what you might do um, is go to your uh, rectangle tool and just draw a box around it, right? And then you would color that and then send it to the back of the back of the text box, right? Which is great and works fine. Um, and you can add a margin to it. Um, oops. Um, you know, you can add a margin on the left. Um, if you need like random odd margins, that's great. But what if you uh, wanted something very even, right? So you don't even know what this margin is on the left, and then you're dragging out to try and match it, and then you have to select both of them and try and scale it. Um, things get tricky, okay? What I'm gonna show you is, let's say you have your text box, and normally you would click on your, um, color swatches to color your text, right? What I'm going to show you is if you just drag the color swatch right into your text box, it will color the text box background and leave the text the same color. Now you can still change your text color by clicking on the swatch, which you may be thinking that looks great, but what about margins or padding or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, web development, it'd be called padding. Um, if you go to your text tool over here and you double click, I'm going to hit preview so you can see it live. What you're looking for is in this offset section is inset spacing okay and go up up there you go an eighth of an inch quarter inch margin all the way around looks kind of ridiculous but you get my point uh, let's go back down to oops Come on, what's going on here? Okay, something seems to be stuck. Anyway, so it's... Anyway, so you got an even margin all the way around. Now you can still, with that box selected, you can still change your color of text, and you can still drag a color in and change the color of the box. Personally, I like that kind of setup right there. So um, again, you just drag the color swatch into the color box or into the text box and you can change that. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope to bring you new little tips under five minutes or so in that range. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, um, give it a thumbs up, all that standard YouTube stuff. Subscribe.